Hi, Eric Carguy here. Say you've got a manual transmission and you're driving down the road and you notice that your clutch is starting to grab higher and higher up in the travel of the clutch pedal itself. Is there a way to deal with this aside from replacing the clutch? Yes, there is. And the way we do this is we adjust the clutch mechanism. Now there are several different types of clutch mechanisms that are out there varying from basically two categories. One category would be mechanical, the other category would be hydraulic. We are going to adjust a mechanical style, specifically a cable style clutch on this here Integra. Now, if it's a mechanical system, it works similar to this in that you want to increase the pedal free play. And the reason for this is you want to back the clutch mechanism off far enough so that the pressure plate can do its work. The pressure plate's actually what holds that clutch in a place uh, whenever you release it to engage the transmission. So what we're going to do is we're going to allow that clutch to grab a little bit better. And also we're going to make it so that the clutch pedal grabs a little further down on the floor. Now it may get to a point where it no longer has any adjustment left. And if that's the case, you're going to need to replace the clutch. Most clutches aren't too bad. Some. <laughs> Some not so much. To alleviate that expense, time, and effort, you might want to try adjusting it. And today we're going to adjust the cable clutch on this 1990 Integra. Really, you need to consult a manual on your specific vehicle for how to adjust the clutch. But once again, for the most part, what you're looking to do is loosen it up. Increase pedal free play equals loosen it up. <laughs> but not so much that uh, it causes another problem altogether. There's a very fine line you need to walk here. So let's get started. Where you adjust the clutch cable on this particular car is right there at this little nut right here. That's where we adjust it. That clutch cable runs from the firewall all the way over and snakes down to that point. Now what we want to do is we want to make it so that that clutch moves real nice. And we're going to do that by loosening that nut and then checking to see if we have the proper amount of play. The way I do this is I'll pull up on the cable until I feel some tension down on the shift arm. And I'll just keep running the nut down until it makes contact. And what I'm looking for is really just a slight movement on the pedal. Once I think I've got it, and when I say slight, I want a slight so that I know that the clutch is, there it is. You can, you can feel just a, a slight click on the uh, shift arm itself. And that's what you want, just a very slight bit of movement there. And go one, two. Now I'm going to go inside the car and step on the clutch pedal a couple of times so that you can watch the whole mechanism work. But also, I want this rubber piece to seat in and I want the rubber down here to seat in. So if I hit the clutch pedal a couple of times, that will seat those parts. When you come back, you may find that it's a lot looser than it was when you started, which it is. So, once again, pull up, run the nut down until it feels tight. And we just want a feeling of a slight click. You want to make sure that the, uh, there it is, you can almost hear it. You want to make sure that when you release the clutch pedal, it's fully released so that the throwout bearing is not still riding on the fingers of the pressure plate. You want to make sure that it's fully released. So once again, I'm going to go in, hit the clutch pedal a couple of times. That feels about perfect. I'm just going to back it off one more click. And I will be, yeah, there you go. I'm going to be very happy with that. Once you've done all that, 
you're done. Take it out for a spin. See if the clutch is uh, a little bit better and maybe clutch is a little closer to the floor instead of a little higher up. It will come to a point where you no longer can adjust and it's time to replace the clutch and that's a whole other video. So we'll talk about that then. But for now, this may get you by and make it so that you don't necessarily need a clutch right away. Like I said, consult a service manual. Uh, you can find some of those things online sometimes for your specific vehicle on how to adjust the free play. Uh, make sure you don't turn the wrong adjuster. That would be bad. So try to have good solid information before you get started. And you don't need to have so much play in there that you push the clutch pedal halfway down before it even starts to move. That would be just as bad. I'm Eric the Car Guy and I'm here to help you with your car issues. And I hope this uh, information was helpful to you. Uh, if you would like, you can always leave me text or video responses. Love to see your pretty faces. And you can always visit me at ericthecarguy.com. Stay dirty.